Hey guys, it's Rich. Hey guys, it's Rich. With today we're gonna share a real brief. Yeah, what province? Man, broke my signage. Three today. Bringing you another. Guys, thanks for watching this too. Oh. All right, guys. How do you do it? How do you get folks over to the uh, strip clubs slash hookah bars slash bikini lounges? as they are during COVID. First of all, man, be honest. Don't bullshit people. Don't be telling them they're gonna get lap dances. They're not, at least up front. Um, my, my pitch is pretty simple, man. I pick them up, start talking about what they're doing, finding out if they wanna hit any clubs, and just tell them the truth. The club scene is, is really pretty much dead right now. None of the major clubs are open. Yeah, Omnia reopened. We're going to see some of them starting to reopen a little more. But those clubs, man, they're, they're like VIP only now with this limited occupancy. So they got to jack up rates and charge more. So tell them, and when you're talking about the strip clubs, you don't have to speak to that. And don't discount couples, man. Couples are some of my best customers for uh, getting, getting them over to clubs because it's a club environment. That's how I pitch it. Yeah, hey guys, yeah, we did have some of the uh, strip clubs start, the gentlemen's clubs, or just say the clubs. We did have some clubs start opening up. You know, they, they used to be strip clubs. Um, what they had to do due to current regulations in Vegas, they had to go out and relicense as hookah bars. And they are bikini bars. I mean, the chicks will be wearing something up top, either a bikini or pasties, but you'll still have a good time. It's a club environment. You can go hang out, get some drinks, have some fun get your party started or close out your night with it. It's a fun time and get your clubs of choice that you like. I like staying close. Um, again, you gotta check the kickback app too uh, for current payouts or if there's an increase or what their hours are. Um, a couple of clubs and I'll throw their names out there, Centerfolds and Sophia's. They're only open Wednesday through Sunday. That's why it makes no fucking sense driving Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon like I did yesterday. So when you're talking about it, you know, just say, yeah, man, I think you guys would have a great time, man. Um, the, here's the deal, you use the scarcity principle too. I throw out um, uh, Centerfold specifically because it's funny because currently, and you know, this is probably changed within the next week or two, they're at 35% occupancy and their sign out back actually says occupancy limit 69. That's funny. That's funny. A strip club having a 69 occupancy limit. And these conversations can lead to bigger and better things too, man. If you got a group of guys for a bachelor or birthday party, they have a suite or a nice room or an Airbnb, um, you can uh, make some other things happen and get the party to their room, which is a better overall experience. And at the end of the day, they're going to spend about the same amount of money because they're going to buy their own booze. But, you know, bring up the deal, you know, centerfolds, the, the deal I throw out there. Yeah, guys, they had to lower their cover, which they did. You know, there, there's just not as many people in town. It's only 40 bucks to get in. Use language like that. It's only, yeah, it's just 40 bucks to get in. And plus they're doing a deal right now. Buy your first drink, you get your second drink free. So it's a good deal. You'll have a good time. These are easy to do, um, easy to bring up. More drivers, we get talking about them. Uh, more of those we're going to see in the app with the bonus dollars. So wouldn't it be nice to pick up, you know, three people from Mandalay Bay and one of these clubs is in the app because a couple of previous drivers mentioned it is something to do. Um, you know, I talk about the other clubs too, but there's just not much going on. You got Embassy, which, you know, a lot of people aren't going to want to go to anyway, and it's only open Friday and Saturday night. Uh, Blue Martini, Stonies, you know, if they want the rock and country, that's another option. And we got a cool little club off of Eastern called La Jolla. Um, they'll actually, <laughs> I'm talking to them, trying to do something, but they'll actually throw you, I think it was three bucks for the girl and four bucks for the guy. I almost laughed. I tipped back five to the guy who paid me out. Um, thanked him, but you know, I mean, it's, it is a cool club though. I've talked to my passengers after they've been in there. They really enjoyed it. I think covers somewhere around 20, 25 bucks. Drink prices are really reasonable. Um, you know, during the week, again, look up Kickback app. You got the library, they're open seven days a week. That's the old Cheetahs back there off of Industrial Row. Um, they have really reasonable drink prices. 
Of course, if you want to take people up north, you know, you got that other one, um, which I don't care for. I mean, I, I literally tell people, man, man, hang out inside before you get your Uber. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait an hour. If not, man, I'll take you somewhere closer. You'll have just as good a time and you won't be stuck in the middle of the hood. But up to you, man. Whatever clubs you like, you feel comfortable with. Um, I've never had an issue with payouts. Just follow their protocol. It's, it's a little different at all of them. I mean, again, read the details in the Kickback app. You know, just mention it. The more you mention it, the more it's gonna happen. Um, and you don't know, you don't know who's in your car, what they are. Also, um, be cognizant of dress codes. You know, don't bring people with ripped up jeans and uh, white t-shirts, another weird sort of rule. Again, they're a little more flexible in the earlier hours and earlier in the week. You know, sports apparel's a big no-no. Apparently that causes fights. Um, it's gonna cause a fight in my fucking car if you're not wearing Packer shit. Be funny, make money.